everybody and welcome back to Fujits Blitz and yes I know I said I would stop reviewing premium tanks but hey I couldn't resist the temptation. So let's have a look at the Chimera. The latest premium to hit the stores. This is a tier 8 British medium and you know what it's quite expensive. Currently hitting the stores at about $50 if you want all the bells and braces. But what is it about this tank? Well, that's it there. That's what it looks like in uh, Armour Inspector. It's a funky looking tank, to be honest with you. It's, it's a medium. It's not a heavy, even though it looks like a heavy. It's not got a bad turn of speed. The armour here, the profile wise, you can see the mantle is pretty rock solid. It's got some spaced armour. Aside from that, it looks pretty bland, to be honest with you. And that's what it looks like when it's up against an M26 Pershing a tank in the same tier and also in medium. As you can see, the armour profile changes significantly and it's pretty difficult to pin it front on. It's got good, what, 10 degrees of gun depression, so that's nice. You can stick it behind. But look at this, the penetration against the Pershing is fantastic, which is no surprise. If you look at the pen values here, especially on your standard AP, that's not bad for this tier, and it dishes out some decent damage on both sides. But what about the tank itself? Well, let's be honest. Firstly, it's expensive. I mean, $50 for or the Bounce Embraces tank is not cheap. And what are you getting for that money? Well, you're getting a British medium in tier 8, and tier 8 is full with premiums. But is this one that you should be looking at? Well, first and foremost, I'm not going to tell you how to spend your money. If you can afford it and you want it, then get it. My review ain't going to make an ounce of difference. But what is it about this tank? Is it worth a look? Well, I think it is worth a look. I mean, I'm an average player. I'm not a super duper unicorn. I'm not going to set the world on fire. I do not think this tank is OP in any shape or form, but it is a nice, nice tank. Whilst it's a medium, you have to play it like a heavy um, realistically. It does have quite a long load time. Which isn't bad because the penetration and the damage it dishes out is nice. You'll find it very difficult not to pen in this thing. I mean, look at this. Vindicator, boom, front on, 430, straight into the front of the Vindicator. That is what's so nice about this tank. Yeah, like I said, it has got a long load time, but the aiming reticle is quite nice. It, it's a bit slow for a medium but it's, li it's doable, you can live with it. The armor is a bit hit and miss, but if you stick the front of it in, in front of everything, like use that mantlet, you will bounce quite a lot. It's not an OP tank, and it's not got the best armor, but it's got good armor, and it's got a good gun. So is it really worth the $50? Well, no tank is worth $50, let's be honest. But this is a nice tank. It's, it, it's good if you're an average player. You will lose in it, you won't always win, but it's a nice tank for an average player. If you're an OP player, then, I mean, you're gonna love this tank, to be perfectly honest with you, but if you're average, you're not gonna struggle in it. There's not much you can do wrong in this thing, to be honest with you. I mean, as I said, I mean, I'm an average player, I'm not gonna set the world on fire with my replays I'm gonna show you today. I, I bought the tank this morning, I did, what, four games in it, won three, lost one. Um, and I'm going to show you the one I lost, because whilst I can bemoan the MM or the teams, it was actually my fault. So, and we'll get to that later. But as you can see here, I did just over 3,000 damage, only took one kill, and had a thoroughly good time whilst doing it. And that's what I like about this tank. It is quite forgiving. Now, this was the second game I played this morning. The game you've just seen was actually the last game I played. And we're here on Middleburg, in, and it's a nice map for this tank. Like I said, it's got a, a nice, decent gun depression, and you can do good stuff with it. I mean, I've got these two P43s, okay, they're tier sevens, pushing here. I know where they are, there's one there. Uh, the other one's dropped off the map, but he's gonna be around somewhere. And uh, lo and behold, one of them, there he is, he decides to push. I mean, bad move, there's an SU behind me, and there he goes. But, you know, one shot, 468 damage. Bounce 450 now, because that front mantle it 
is absolutely rock solid. Get around the corner, okay, you get smacked a bit there by the object 252U, but I've taken a kill. I've done 726 damage, I've taken a kill, everything's great. So what is there not to like about this tank other than its price tag? Not much really, to be honest with you. I mean, okay, it doesn't bring you anything that you don't already have in tier eight, other than it's a British medium and it's a British premium. But you can see the Object 252U there. I mean, that's an equally a good premium tank in the tier. Okay, it's not a medium, obviously. Um, I mean, if this tank was cheaper, then I would recommend lots of people to buy it. I'm not recommending that because I think it's OP or I think it's giving you an advantage over the, over the other tanks in the tier. It's not. It's just a nice tank. It's forgiving. It's pleasing if you're a, you know, a novice or a newish player and you're looking to get into tier eight, then, you know, this, this is a tank for you. It, 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 it suits all skill levels and it really is quite forgiving. I can't say much more than that. You, you're not going to be, if, you're, if, you, if your skill base is low, if your win rate is low and, you know, you are a very new player, then you're not going to set the world on fire, but you're not going to make lots and lots of mistakes with the tank. The tank is going to sit nicely with you and you're not going to struggle that much. Unlike tanks like the Blaze, for example. There's a Blaze there. Uh, I mean, that's got no armor. It's, it's, it's got a very difficult gun to play with. It's a technically difficult tank and it's not as forgiving. This one is, and I like it. I think it's a beautiful little tank. I struggle with the price tag, but as I said, it's not for me to tell you how to spend your money. I mean, if you've got $50, you can afford $50, then so be it. it, it, it that, that's your call, it's not mine. All I can try and do is give you a review based on me, an average player. And I would recommend this tank because at the end of the day, I, I think, as I said, it's very forgiving and it will suit average to skilled players in equal measure. Simple fact of life, guys. It's, it's a nice all-round tank in that respect. It's, it's definitely, definitely not OP. And a lot of people said, oh, it's mediocre. Mm, I, I don't agree. I don't think it's mediocre. The, it's got something about it. Um, and, and, and that thing is its gun. I mean, the gun is fantastic. You can't play it like a heavy. You, I mean, it hasn't got the armor to do that. You you will bounce because that mantle and that, that, that front is quite solid. But you can't be lackadaisy in this thing because side on and at the wrong angle, everybody's going to pen you, as you'll see in a moment with the last game. But I like it and I'm glad I bought it. I'm not glad I spent $50, don't get me wrong, but I'm glad I got the tank because it's a nice tank. And I'm a tank collector anyway, and it's a nice addition to my garage. The thing is, it'll come around again. I mean, my, my good friend and clan lead Stubbo does a blitz economics on the EU forum. It will come round again. And whilst it is new, they're always gonna charge you more money. So there again, not setting the world on fire, shy of 3000 damage, but I enjoyed playing the tank. Now this is the last game and I could sit here, I mean look at the gun on this thing, it's brilliant. I mean I can sit here and bemoan my team and I do, I, I, you know, I, I have a go at the blaze later and I say camp harder. But the fact of the matter remains is that it was me who actually fucked up in this game. I, I get some good shots in, I mean I've already done, you know, just shy of, three, just shy of 1500 damage in part because of the predator and I just set him on fire. And this is the very first game I played in the tank, to be honest with you. In fact, it was. So I was getting used to it, and I was giving it a good bash. And, and then a red mist comes down, and I do the mistake that every single average player or new player does in this game. Now, it's like this, guys. I'm in a fantastic position here on this map. I really, really am. I'm in a great position. I've got gun depression. I've got a rock-solid mantlet and I, I, I've got shots on. Why I do what I do next is just me being a complete and utter moron, to be honest with you. 
The T49, I can see, is only two, 200 hit points. I can take him out. And, you know, he's, he's having a smack at me. I, I'm going to try and smack the SU, but I don't. And I'm sitting there too long, and I'm allowing that T49 to farm me. This is where I completely fuck the game up for my team. So I roll over the top. I try to shoot him. I get trapped. I don't. And then, like a prick, I continue rushing him. That I should never have done. I mean, that is just ridiculously stupid gameplay on my part. Okay, I get some lucky bounces. I'm going to take him out. I, 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 I do 2,000 odd damage. I've blocked 1,000. But I'm now on 60 odd hit points. I'm going to die. And I'm completely useless to my team because of my stupidity in chasing down that T49. I shouldn't have done it. And that... In fairness, is what cost us this game. Now I can sit here and turn around and say, you know, this blaze here is, 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 is a Muppet. Okay, he does camp. He's in a blaze, for Christ's sake. He, he, he does need to help. He's not really, he, you know, he's not really helping out, sat here. He's got no shots on anything. So he should help out, but that's not his fault. You know, I, I screwed up. I was the top tier tank in this game. And I was in a great position until I decided to do what I did. And that cost the game. Now I can sit here and bemoan the MM. I can sit here and bemoan my teammates. But the fact of the matter remains, had I not done what I did, there would have been an extra gun on the battlefield, another tank, a big tank with big damage on the battlefield that could have put these other tanks to bed. But I, I, I screwed up. And this is one of the things I want to highlight because we always bemoan MM. I mean, we can sit here and say, oh, it's the Blaze, oh, it's this guy, oh, it's that guy. You're a team at the end of the day. And, you know, whilst this isn't the review of the Chimera, I just wanted to highlight this one. I mean, I say they're camp harder. He is camping now and he's not helping his team anymore. He actually does the second top damage in this game, but um, he didn't really help the team at some at, at this later stage and you know i can't i can forgive him it's not his fault that we lost but he did camp a lot and you know it's just the way it works so always go back and look at before you bitch and whinge about your team in the mm go back and look at the mistakes that you yourself made because i knew for a fact as soon as i pushed over the top i'd made a mistake and it was too late for me to do anything about it and i knew i'd probably cost us the game anyway that's been the Chimera, the latest premium tank to hit the stores. Thankfully, it's not in crates, but it is quite expensive. Hype in Fujit, by all means, comment, like, and all the stuff below. If you haven't pressed subscribe yet, please do so. It's a nice thing to do. And, you know, as per usual, send your email, your replays to me via email or Discord, etc., etc. And until the next time, Stay safe out there, guys. Have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking, because that's what it's all about, having fun and being happy.